This is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Check it out. I got something for you. For real. Actually, I do. Go to the first link below and go to HustlersKungFu.com and hit the Welcome tab. With that, you'll get 19 free courses on how to build businesses, how to have a better mindset, how to even have better relationships. Yes, 19 courses, some are longer than others. They'll teach you how to sell. They'll teach you how to manage your money. A lot of stuff for the budding entrepreneur and for the budding hustler. So be sure to do that today. Once again, first link below. Get that and uh, get busy. Now let's get into the show. Now, if you're interested in making a call, the number will be below. It's 404-558-8811. And this is how you make your call. You state your name. I don't need your number. You can leave that at the end because if your number's not blocked, I'm going to have it in the phone. Then ask specific questions about what you want to do or what you want to know about. If you don't have a business or you're not already working on the hustle, more than likely, I'm just going to recommend you get the free courses because that's going to help you tremendously. There's a ton of value there. And if you've got something juicy, I'll just put it here and let the YouTube community and the people out there who are hustling with you chime in. So once again, thank for your phone calls and let's get into the show. Hello, Mr. Gilland and Cameron. I want to only thank you for all your wonderful information to help me start my new business. You are the best guy on the whole interweb. No, I'll bullshit aside. Um, really, man, I want to thank you for, for the information. Um, you really uh, showed me a lot of stuff that I didn't know and I'm uh, getting ready uh, to start my, my t-shirt business in the next, in the next couple of weeks. And, uh, just want to say thanks, man. Boom. Thank you. I appreciate that. Had me going for a minute. I was like, who is this? Hey, Glennon. My name is Casey Kelly. My number is 49. I really appreciate what you do. I've been watching you since way back in the storage auction days. Uh, my business is Ion Trades. I'm building a virtual reality marketplace to buy and sell items. I've been working on it for about 16 months, and now I'm at a point where I can show folks an early version of the market. My question is, what should I focus on now? More development, polishing what I have, marketing to get sales of the content I've created, or should I start trying to get some funding? I mean, allowing multiple vendors costs a ton, and my resale business has been funding development so far. But after a year focusing on development, sales are down and my burn rate is up. A lot of your advice helped me uh, spur me to do this, like no Amazon, no eBay, more money, and the digital content selling. And now thanks in part to you, I have something I can be really proud of. Um, any feedback you can provide, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hope you have a great day, Glennon. Thanks for all you do. Take care. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Number one, you want to focus on making your site make some money okay like you mentioned additional funding there's so many people out there with an ideal that if you walk in the door with some sales and if i mean if you can do this completely by yourself do it if that means growing slowly over a period of years do that because when you get funding you give up ownership um there is a big big problem with the way that we do businesses today Everyone's looking for the exit, right? So I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to scale up to get out. Well, just think about this. You've built this site, and let's just say it makes you a hundred grand a year after expenses, puts a hundred thousand dollars a year in your pocket. You maintain full ownership. That's very key to any business that's profitable. You maintain full ownership, and say you manage to avoid going out of business, you grow a little bit each year, then year six, year seven, you have a lot of experience, you, you, you know your market, you know your customers, you can expand, and at that point, you can bring on maybe an equity partner at 10, 20, 30%, where you still own most of the company, you're still getting more of the money. Um, definitely start making your website works. So make it, have money coming in, because that's the truest sense of validation of any concept if you can sell it and if you can make money do so thanks for the question thanks for watching for like the last six years dang it's a long time appreciate it tom hello this is tisa i am the owner of a online business by the name of sassy boutique 
I recently left my job. I left my job in October. And, you know, things have been very good throughout the summer. And um, they kind of slowed down. Or they recently slowed down, of course, you know, after Christmas and everything like that. My question to you is, should I pursue a degree in business? Now, I know, I understand that I don't necessarily need a degree in business, but I think that it could possibly help me. I want to know, would I be wasting my time by getting a business um, degree, or should I just go ahead and keep doing things the way I'm doing them as far as reading up as much as I can? Thank you. You can reach me back. Wow, thanks for the question. Right off the top, no, you do not need to go to college or a business school to run your business. The best school for your business is for you to run it. If you do go to school, I would suggest you take accounting courses because when you start looking at ledger accounts and stuff, it would make a little bit more sense. You can go to a community college, take the full accounting courses and be done with it. Maybe not even two grand and you'll have plenty of what you need. So no, no, it would be a waste of your time. It would be a phenomenal waste of your time. It would be a phenomenal waste of money and it would hurt your business because the time that you're pursuing a degree, taking all of these courses that you don't need so you can get that piece of paper that says, hey, I have a business degree, you're taking time away from your business. Keep working your business, keep learning about your business, push your business. Uh, typically, depending on what you're selling, Things can slow down after Christmas. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they do. Continue to push online. Continue to run social. Con you know, have have a social presence. You know, whatever you know, you got your fancy boutiques. Figure out a way that you could create a narrative where, when people think of whatever you sell, that when they go online, they can find you very easily. That's the key. Being able to be found online very easily. Love your uh, story. Thanks for the call. I didn't say you all. I, ref I apologize about the <laughs> misunderstanding, but I just uh, enjoy your programs, and I'm an active follower. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm Adam Deshay. I'm 22 years old from Chicago. I'm a graduating senior right now at DePaul University with a double major in finance and real estate with a minor in sales. I've been watching your videos since about 2011, and I was a founding member, a uh, lifetime member of the Hustlers Mindset Project. Um, I've been hustling since about 2008 on eBay, Craigslist, flea markets, and recently, recently in the last three years, I've been averaging between 32 to 35 thousand a year in profits. Uh, as of right now, I'm about to take my test to get my real estate broker's license, and I have a uh, job lined up at a real industrial real estate brokerage firm that's um, commission only. Um, I have two quick questions. I know you mentioned in the past that you were a commission commission-only office uh, furniture salesperson for a couple of years. So how did you overcome the darker early days? Um, did you just put the pedal to the floor and go through it, or did you use a, did you try to go around it and use a different tactic? I'd love to know uh, what you did. Secondly, um, I know you mentioned in some of your older videos about overcoming um, loved ones or significant others. I believe in your case you said it was your mother um, in life that are trying to sway you away from uh, your current course of, um, you know, hustling or going after pursuing your own business um, for more of a life of security and normality with a paycheck and benefits. Um, in my case, it's more of a loved ones and uh, my significant other trying to, they're trying to make me shut down my hustle um, as soon as I graduate college. Um, so how did you overcome this? Um, and also in your case for your uh, with your mother, has she finally accepted what you're doing currently or is she still nagging you for years after about quote-unquote, getting a job. Um, thanks again, Glendon, uh, for your videos. I highly enjoy them. Hey, what's going on, Adam? Good Lord, you have been around a long time. Thanks for the long-time patronage and being one of the first people to get into the online courses. Number one, do not stop your hustle. All right, some things you just said. You're graduating. Don't know if you're graduating with student loan debt, but you just said you have profit of thirty-two grand a year. Okay, now I know something about the commercial real estate business. It's hard, but it's extremely lucrative when you make it work. I've got a friend, his name's John. He's been doing between two to 10 million a year for the last 15 years 
as an industrial commercial real estate broker. He's the top of this game. But, yeah, so take the job. Take it. Now, let's get back to what you just said. You got to hustle, and you're going into a commission-only job. Keep hustling. You'll be working longer hours, but keep hustling because you've got money coming in to support yourself, and that's going to make it easier for you to be a better commercial real estate agent because I'm telling you, here in Atlanta, because I knew these people who did this, when things were, you know, because there, there's going to be dark days with that business. When real estate's good, you make money. When it's not bad, when it's not good, you may not make money. It just depends on how you're positioned. But I knew people who were working Monday through Friday, taking weekends off, making half a million a year, not putting in a lot of work. And then like my friend John, who was burning the midnight oil, you know, he makes millions. So to the second part of your question, um, actually, she just kind of accepted it before she died, but she never really came around. And we just kind of reached this thing where we didn't talk about it. So when you're dealing with that and you search your significant other, If she is not happy with your hustling now, it is probably never going to change unless you become phenomenally successful. Once you become successful, everyone's got that story like, I knew Adam way back when. So you've got that going on. But you've got to ask yourself this question. Whose life is it? Is it my life or is it their life? And this is something else. When you're successful, people tend to come around. People tend to come around and you've got cover because look at it. You keep your hustle making your, you know, reselling, making 32 grand a year. You could probably scale it up more once you get out of college and you do this commission thing. And I want you to understand the powerful position you put yourself in. You have income from your hustle. That's why it's just totally preposterous for you to quit and take this commission job. That makes no sense. You have money to support yourself, pay your bills while you learn the craft of commercial real estate, which is a different animal than residential real estate. It's totally different, totally different. And that's why you don't see residential real estate agents and listing commercial property. It's either they're doing residential or they're doing commercial. The laws are different. Uh, Terms, selling the square footage. There's a lot of stuff you got to learn. So that would be my advice. And if it is in your heart, because once again, you're, tw- you're 22 years old. I mean, you came into the funnel of Hustler's Mindset Project when you were a teenager. You don't understand that if you step on this road that you're stepping on and go hard, you could be a millionaire for real. Million dollars cash in the bank before you're 30. That is the position that you put yourself in. Now, normally I don't tell people to, quote, get jobs. But see, commercial real estate... Is totally different, and this is why. You're going to come in contact with nothing but high-level people and business owners. You're going to learn so much. You're going to create relationships. You're going to develop friendships with people who can make decisions, people who can write checks, and people who can hire folks. That is way worth it. I mean, if nothing more than getting the job for that is worth it. So that's just my thoughts, you know. Don't worry about the haters. Don't worry about the family. I mean, you know, I know that's your girl, but you become a successful commercial real estate broker with a strong hustle on the side. You are not going to have to worry about getting a girlfriend, my dude. Not at all. <laughs> it's going to be not. It's going to be so low on the list. Don't even worry about it. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it, and I really like the fact that you've stuck to the principles and you've continued to hustle. And you just set yourself on such a good path. I wish I had someone like me when I was your age, for real. Hello, this is uh, Jose from Houston, Texas. And, uh, well, I just wanted to call regarding uh, how to run a successful online business. And, um, uh, can you? Hello, my name is Chris Bird. My number is 816. I was calling, I've been watching you on YouTube, and how I make money is I'm a glass artist. I do stained glass work, I do fused glass work, I make jewelry, I do all these things. Um, I've got my work in several galleries that I sell items through. However, I wanted to go and expand online. I know that you have put out stringent warnings against eBay and Amazon, and from what I've seen, items similar, they sell nothing 
in comparison to what they should. Um, and I was curious as to what your advice would be is to branch out online, um, bearing in mind that the pieces that make stained glass panels and whatnot and different things in there, they're quite a bit expensive to ship. So I, I'm just kind of curious on what your thoughts on that would be. Uh, thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Hey, Chris. Thanks for the question. I used to ship bedroom sets, living room sets, and heavy machinery. This is the thing, and you said the key. Truly beautiful stained glass is very expensive. You'll have to find people. Stained glass from a craftsperson such as yourself, you're an artesian, is very expensive. Uh, someone can easily spend a few thousand dollars for some doors. This is what you need to do, and you have to understand. You want to create a marketing program online, but you want to do as much locally as possible or within your tri-state area because the people need to see it and feel it before they will invest in it. So you have an online presence. Maybe you could do YouTube videos saying, hey, this is how you make stained glass. Then people will see you across the nation. Then someone might fall in love with your work and go, Chris, I don't care what it costs. Ship it to me. Because what you're looking for is exposure. You need as many people as possible to know exactly what you do and how well that you do it. Uh, eBay is not the place for what you do. Uh, Amazon's definitely not the place. But Craigslist will get you more play than both of those because people can come and look at your work. See, this is the thing with eBay and Amazon. More so eBay. Amazon, Amazon has more trust than eBay. But when someone's going to spend... 1500 2000 3000 4000 they would like to come out and look at it if at all possible. And once you, you start to build your following, because the thing is, I don't know if you have a brand, if there's a company name, or you just go under your name, Chris, but think of branding yourself as someone who teaches. Because as you teach people, you will draw people who will also buy from you. So I think that's really cool. And do increase what you're doing. You said that you have your glass in a number of galleries. Maybe you have it in every gallery in town. I don't know. But think outside the box. Can you take some of your glass and go to the next state? Because art is something that can hang on the wall for months. So you've got everything locked down where you are, right? Then you go to this state, talk to people, make relationships, put your glass over there. Then you go to another state, talk to people. And the thing is, if you get in just three states other than your home state, you could quadruple your sales. Just something to think about. You're not really worrying about the crazy shipping and stuff like that. Once again, continued success, and thanks for the call. Hey, man. Um, my name is Ahmad. I just randomly came across your YouTube video while I was driving here. And uh, it really resonated with me. It was good stuff. It was the one about how, about quitting a job. Um, I just had a question because I'm kind of in a situation right now. So long story short, um, I work at day. My day job is in IT. I get paid uh, about sixty grand a year, and I've been doing it for three years. Um, a while ago, I started uh, doing the whole uh, like side like. You know, side hustle, weekend hustle, which was usually selling, you know, buying in Craigslist, reselling for more. It started as an accident. I, I like sold something and made like a forty dollar profit, and then it kind of just got crazy from there. And it's gotten to a point where like even my friends and family, they just call, they like call me like a money magnet because wherever I go, I'm always able to find deals. And like I've expanded as far as what I've sold, like just the most randomest stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, like that. I mean, that's going on on the side. And, uh, so the, the, my question is like, I'm, I'm quitting my job at the end of this month. Um, uh, it's kind of a long story, but I'm, I'm leaving it and I'm just like, man, I, I can't continue to do this. Like literally I've gotten to that point where I can't, um, just sit there. It's like, it's slowly killing me from inside. You know, I can't trade my time like that for a paycheck. I mean, 40 hours a week, I feel like it's gotten to that point where I was kind of like, kind of became a master of my time where if that 40 hours were given back to me, I feel like I could completely like, I mean, I might take a financial haircut for a while, but 
I think long term, you know, he'll have like that rebound effect just because I'll, I'll be able to, you know, use that time more effectively. Um, and I just, I can't do the nine to five, man. Literally, like I, I, I physically, mentally, it's, I can't do it anymore. So I'm kind of jumping into it. And it took a while for me to get to this point mentally. But um, I just, I guess I'm just looking for some uh, advice, man. Like, you know, I, I buy and sell on Craigslist. I track everything. And uh, not just that, but I, I have an online um, internet marketing site that I'm trying to, you know, get like up and running and more successful. So I, I guess if, if I quit my job, I would have much more time to work on that and sell uh, inform- I sell fi- uh, fitness information products. My website is intelligentmuscle.net. Um, so, I mean, I guess I guess my thing is, like, I'm, I'm literally doing it, man. I'm, I'm jumping out, like, I'm just jumping into it. And it's like, of course, it's kind of nervous because you, you feel that anxiety. It's like, shit, you're cutting off your income, your main income stream and your secure sense of security. But in time, I feel like um, I, I trust myself to an extent. Um, I, I do. Okay, so this is the deal. You are a mod, you're jumping into the waters of uncertainty. Now, you're not really making a jump as someone who isn't hustling. Because the thing is, you said it, you've become well known for hustling on Craigslist. And this is what my advice would be for you. The minute you quit your job, don't take a vacation, don't hang out. More than likely, you're going to get a package vacation or something, right? Immediately quadruple your hustle. Whatever you were doing on Craigslist, times it times five. You want to be working so hard. And the reason, and this is the reason, and I'll get to that in a minute. You want to be working so hard that you literally pass out. You literally pass out from exhaustion for the first few weeks because what happens to many people who quit their jobs and they get into entrepreneurship or running their own lives. Ahmad, 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 thanks for the call. You are jumping into the waters of uncertainty. You don't know what the hell is going to happen. It's exhilarating and it's fucking scary at the same time. Okay, first of all, you're not starting from scratch. You already have something that's very key. You know how to make money already. Now, this is what my advice would be to you. The minute you quit your job, you go into hustle mode. You go into fucking guerrilla mode. And what I mean by that is whatever time and energy you're putting in the Craigslist, times it times five. You want to be so busy. You want to be working so many deals, flipping as much stuff as possible. Then the second thing is for your internet marketing company, I would only put 10 to 20% of my time in this. This is why you're already confident with Craigslist. You already know how to make money with Craigslist. As your friends and family say, it's just like you're a money magnet. Work that. And also you make 60 grand a year, write a goal today. I'm going to make $120,000 this year. Yeah, I know it's already February. And the reason I'm saying that is when you're hustling like that, there's no ceiling on your income. You can do bigger deals. You can do more deals. You want to treat this as you treated your job, except it's for you. So every morning, get up the same time, like you were going to your job and establish a a workflow because you're going to leave this job in the structure. Now you got to create your own. And that would be it because the thing is, as long as you know how to make money and you already have that skill, you just got to expand it. I mean, I've got a client who's doing a million dollars a year on Craigslist. Nowhere else. No eBay, no Amazon. They sell big shit, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen grand, but exclusively Craigslist. And a lot of people shit on Craigslist because it's it's Craigslist, but you, you already know, you already know. So just depends upon how far you want to go with it. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. Hello, Glenn and Cameron. This is Eric Dandridge, Eric T. Dandridge. 
Uh, thank you for calling me back, man. Personally, I really appreciate you taking time on your schedule. The real Glenda camera calls you back. But um, I don't know how you put the answer to my video, but my question, if you answered it in the video, I don't know the name of the video. So if you please be uh, so, 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 so kindly, uh, leave a message on my, on my phone or... All right, I'll, I'll definitely do that. I'll, I'll send you the video link. Hello, Mr. Glenn. Miss Lee Melvin here. I am a viewer of 20 of your videos there. Okay, I recently quit my job. I am tired of doing the same old, same old, and I believe that I was meant to be an entrepreneur. At this moment, uh, I'm, I'm trying to start, and I'm just, I'm just boggled by where to begin and, and trying to uh, gather in some income, and I just need some, some ideals further. Uh, right now, I don't know how I'm going to make my ends meet, but I'm still, I'm still hustling. I'm still going for it. Uh, I'm still looking for uh, new ideals, applying uh, ideals. Uh, I started off trying to sell the items that I have inside of my, my home, okay, uh, which I haven't, you know, I posted some items on Craigslist, which I haven't received any responses back except for some scams uh, there. But I'm highly interested in learning and being a student in your classroom, sir. And I would greatly appreciate it if you can give me a call back and share some of your wisdom, uh, the things that you have gained. All right. What I'm going to do for you, and this is one of the reasons that I made all the courses free in HustlersKungFu.com, except for the live sessions and the mini camps. You're in a place where you have a lot of work to do. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send you a link. You get all the courses. Start with the mindset course first. Start, then go to becoming the boss, then get into 30 days to $2,500. So that should get you going and give you some ideas on how to move the stuff in your house that you've been on Craigslist. Thanks for the call. I appreciate it. She was like, I was designed to do more than this. I think that she had reached her limit. <laughs> you can hear that in her voice. This is a market stack. Um, how you doing, Glennon? This is Don. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm calling about maybe a, a plan. I'm trying to start two types of YouTube pages, or maybe one, depending on what goes on. Me and my girlfriend uh, got a little money to spend, just a little bit, but I spent a, I spent some bit on a new uh, camera. It's supposed to be 4K, the Panasonic. Lumix DMC FG 300K. Um, I was gonna try something new. My girlfriend's pregnant. Um, I was, you know, gonna get back in shape. I'm not in bad shape, but I was gonna get back in shape. To, I wouldn't be on camera a little more, but um, I'm just trying to put together a plan. I got uh, two ideas. I want to run them by you. See what you thought, but. Uh, just give me a call. You can reach me at seven five seven four seven. Hey man, congratulations on the Bambino. Okay, this is the deal with YouTube. I recently today put up a video why your YouTube channel is not making any money. So I'm gonna send you a link to that, and then I'm gonna get into some general stuff. The camera is important. I talked about that, so you're good to go with that. But what's even more important than the camera is the topic. Now, you and your girl, you mentioned your girl two and three times. Family lifestyle channels do very well, especially if you have adorable children. Um, if you want to do that, because that's really putting yourself out there quite a bit, and people feel that they own you when you do those kind of things. Now, YouTube is a long-term play unless you have a service or a product to sell. See, many channels are orientated for AdSense money, sponsorship money, or affiliate money, or something like that. There are very few channels other than mine. There's a few out there, but not many. I mean, seriously, not many that are predicated and designed and were started exclusively to sell a product. So you need to have the concept of the marketplace you want to serve. You got to have that nailed down first before you do anything, before you come up with a name, before you start doing video, because your marketplace is going to dictate what type of video that you would make. Give you an example. 
I have a lot of people calling me that don't want me to do their question on camera. They don't want because they're YouTubers. I've had seven, seven so far. And they were like, hey, hey, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't mention my name. Don't do this on camera. I was like, cool, I understand. Because, you know, I'm the bad boy of YouTube. I know that. But essentially, many people have not created channels based upon the Kool-Aid of we're all going to be friends. We're all going to work together. I mean, I'll tell you, I am a capitalist. Uh, yes, I'm giving away every course that's at hustlerskungfu.com for free. Why? Because I know that some people who are going to go through those courses, they're going to go through that like warriors. They're going to come out and it's like, I got this business built, Glendon. I got this far. Hey, how much for your services? That's why I'm doing it. And it's already working. So you got to have a very clear plan on why you are doing what you're doing, who you're serving, how you want to serve them. And also you need to like what you do. Many people do something because you said you have some ideas, hopefully you like them, but many people will pick a topic or a service or some, and they don't really care about it. Uh, I'll tell you this quick story. When I, and this is what turned me off about affiliate marketing. When I came out 2010, 2011, affiliate marketers were like all up my ass. And this is how they were talking to me. Hey, Glennon, I see you got some products, right? Well, I got a big list and I want 75%. And I was like, what the hell? This is how they were talking to me. And it wasn't just one. And then one was like, oh, you didn't get back to me. So I went with this other person. Now, this is the rub. Storage auction information. There weren't that many people who were able to do it really in real life, put together the training materials. Because like I said, my first book had a lot of errors and issues. So I struggled with that. But with the speed, all of a sudden, these people were like getting into the storage auction genre. Essentially, it was some folks who went to a few auctions, created a great presentation, and they were selling that shit online. Because to this day, my shit still stands the test of time. Why? Because I did it for real. <laughs> so what I'm telling you is, whatever you want to get into, know it, own it, be it. Because... I predicted that all of those people were going to go out of the business and they stopped selling. And some people came into the marketplace two years later and was wondering why they didn't make any money. You got to understand that. So really, really hammer down what you want to do and buckle in for the long haul. So I'll send some links out to you and everyone else that called. So I want to say thanks to everybody that called. I appreciate it. And this is getting to be even more fun than I thought.